Back here at home, friends and family are mourning the loss of Ann Gieske. She is one of two Americans who died in that crowd. She was a member of the nursing program at the University of Kentucky. WHS 11's Taylor Woods talked to the Dean of Nursing at UK about her involvement. Taylor's in the newsroom with what was said today. Taylor. Well, Doug, it's a sad day for the university. I spoke with Dean Janie Heath and she tells me Anne was a student who loved to help others. Anne Gieske was a junior at the University of Kentucky and she was among the 154 people who died in Seoul Halloween celebration over the weekend. She was set to begin the nursing program in 2023. Gieske always volunteered and had a huge involvement on campus, including the Catholic Newman Center. Her professors say she had exceptional grades and was always willing to help other students. She even had a big heart and love for the Korean culture, which is why she decided to study abroad in South Korea. Gieske had an entire Instagram page showing her adventures abroad, and Dean Heath says she will be missed by her peers and professors. We had the opportunity, of course, to see what a stellar academic record that she had. It was just exquisite. Her academic performance was just nothing short of extraordinary to include all of the service that she provided to the university on a number of extracurricular um, activities and organizations that she belonged to. Anne Marie's parents released a statement. It reads, we are completely devastated and heartbroken over the loss of Anne Marie. She was a bright light, loved by all. Anne's final gift to us was dying in the state of sanctification, grace. We know we will one day be reun reunited with her in God's kingdom. Now, Gieske was the niece to Representative Brad Winstrup. He released a statement saying, Monica and I and our entire family are grieving the loss of our niece, Anne Marie Gieske. She was a gift from God to our family. We loved her so much. In the newsroom, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11, on your side. Taylor, thank you. And the University of Kentucky also releasing a statement saying, University of Kentucky community is grieving, quote, we have been in contact with her family and will provide whatever support we can now in the days ahead and in the days ahead as they cope with this indescribable loss. We will be there for all those in our community who knew and loved her.